My name is Stephen. Welcome to Bell Press Kids Worship. We are here to worship, to learn, and to hear about God's big story, because God's big story is all about love. God made this beautiful place that we call Earth. God sent his prophets and angels to his people so that we could hear about God's special message. When people were separated from God by their sin, God sent Jesus to love us and to forgive us. God wants us to be his friend, to invite God into our hearts. We love because God first loved us. The Bible tells us about God's story, this never-ending love for all people, how God wants to be with us, how God loves us, and how we all get to be a part of God's big story. This month, we get to see and learn about how God rescues, how God saves Joseph in times of big trouble, in difficult situations. We get to witness God's power and strength, how he rescues his people from slavery after 400 years. We watch God show care and compassion for his people as God cares for them and provides for them for 40 years in the desert. And we get to see God lead his people to the promised land, the place that God promised to bring them. We have a God who rescues us. No matter what we're going through, no matter what happens, no matter what we do, God loves us. God's with us. God is powerful and he loves you because we have a God who rescues. Nothing, nothing, absolutely nothing. Nothing, nothing, absolutely nothing. What can take your love away? Nothing, nothing, absolutely nothing. What can make us separate? Nothing, nothing, absolutely nothing in death. Nothing, absolutely nothing, 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 absolutely nothing. What can take your love away? Nothing, nothing, absolutely nothing. What can make us separate? Nothing, nothing, absolutely nothing in death. Nothing, absolutely nothing, 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 absolutely nothing. Nothing, absolutely nothing, 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 absolutely nothing, 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 absolutely nothing, 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 absolutely nothing. Amen. I will never be lost, I won't be all alone. You found me. Saved me, made me your own I will never be lost I won't be all alone You guide me, save me 
you are my way home It's so good to know No matter where I go You will never ever leave me, Lord It's so good to know No matter where I go To the right, to the left Turn around, straight ahead You are always with me, Lord I will never be lost I won't be all alone You found me, saved me You made me your own I will never be lost I won't be all alone You guide me, changed me You are my way home It's so good to know No matter where I go You will never ever leave me, Lord It's so good to know No matter where I go to the right, to the left, turn around, straight ahead You are always with me, Lord It's so good to know, no matter where I go You will never ever leave me, Lord It's so good to know no matter where I go To the right, to the left I Turn around, straight ahead To the right, to the left I Turn around, straight ahead You are always with me, Lord Oh yeah You are always with me, Lord So glad you're here. I'm Quinn and I have an amazing story to tell you. But first, I have a question. Has there ever been a time when you felt like you were not treated fairly? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Maybe you got in trouble for something you did not do? Mm -hmm. I know I felt that way. Well, my story today is about someone who got in trouble a lot, even though it was never his fault. But no matter what happened to him, God was always with him. His name was Joseph, and his dad had 12 sons. Whoa, that's a big family. But Joseph was his dad's favorite, so his dad made him a special robe. This made Joseph's brothers jealous. They were also mad at him because he had dreams that meant he would be in charge of them. In one dream, the sun, moon, and 11 stars bowed down to Joseph. 11 stars, just like his 11 brothers. His brothers were so mad they were going to hurt him, but the oldest brother told them to put Joseph in a deep hole instead. Hmm. That doesn't sound great either, does it? Well, the oldest brother planned to come back later and get Joseph, but it was too late. Joseph had already been sold as a slave. He ended up in Egypt as a slave to a very important man named Potiphar. Potiphar could tell that God was with Joseph, so he let Joseph be in charge of his house. This was good for Joseph. But then Potiphar's wife got mad at Joseph and told lies about him so that he would have to go to jail. But even in jail, God was with Joseph. He became really famous because he could understand the meanings of dreams. Then one day, the king of Egypt had a dream. In his dream, he saw skinny cows eating fat cows and dying grain eating healthy grain. 
This was a strange dream. The king had Joseph brought to him to help him understand his dreams. With God's help, Joseph knew what the king's dream meant. There was going to be seven years with lots of food and then seven years with no food. That's called a famine. This was a scary message, but Joseph had a plan to save extra food before the famine. God was still with Joseph and the king took Joseph out of jail and put him in charge of all the food in Egypt. Because Joseph had saved food during the seven years, everyone came to Joseph for help with food, even Joseph's brothers. Do you think Joseph was surprised when he saw them? I know I would be. Now, even though he knew who they were, they didn't know him because he looked different. And because he was so important now, they bowed down to him, just like the dreams he had when he was still at home. And do you know what he did? He forgave them for all the ways they hurt him. Joseph knew that God was with him when he was down in the hole, when he was a slave, when Potiphar's wife had thrown him in jail, and even during Egypt's famine. God was always with him because God saves. And he's with us in our lives, just like he was with Joseph in his. Wow, I just love that story. And I love that I got to tell it to you. See you next time. Bye.